Hey guys, what's going on? SSL just released version 1.3 and we're going to be talking about the plugin mixer transport control. This is the main feature that's been added and I think it's a great addition. I've been doing a lot of videos, check them out about UC1 and UF8 and the 360 software. Well, now we have it, we can, while we're in plugin mixer mode, we can use finally these cursor keys, cursor buttons here on the bottom right for play green, uh, yellow, stop, um, in the center red is record, and then rewind and forward. So you can control your DAW timeline, Logic Pro Tools, Studio One, whatever, um, without actually looking at the DAW. You can be completely in your plugin mixer and have this gigantic SSL desk and get lost in it if you want. And I think that's the idea here, to stay in plugin mixer mode. Everything works a little bit better, a little bit more intuitive by just focusing on that big screen perhaps, and then of course on the controllers. But there are many ways of working in UC1 and UF8 and 360. This is just one of them. You could completely stay in DAW mode. You don't have to work with the plugin mixer, but purpose here is yes there are some features now in plug-in mode to completely control transport you also have in the DAW these stop forward rewind play record in different colors that weren't there before uh, or it is already pre-loaded on the soft keys so that is something they don't mention in the memo that went out I kind of like that it stands out a bit more these uh, pasty white keys on the top where I was a little bit hard to find um, but again, so in plugin mixer mode, this is one way to navigate. They also implemented, yep, you guessed it, the same thing on UC1. Make sure you're in bus comp mode, press down on the rotary encoder, and then you have stop and play on these little buttons. It works very well. And the rotary encoder moves the time timeline. And this encoder is actually nicer than the one on the UF8. It's just smoother somehow. But also, the encoder, if you set it to nav mode in the UC, uh, I'm sorry, in the UF8, navigates the timeline. So now we have things we can do on both controls. We can just move much quicker around in the session. So start, stop, record rewind forward and a jog wheel i should say here is my little setup the way i feel comfortable and i'm splitting the screen actually i still want to look a little bit at the doll um, on the mac this is quite easy you have that split screen function but any pc uh, i'm sure can do that as well by the way uh, in one compatibility monterey compatibility is included here windows 11 compatibility and uh, Intel 12th, 12th generation uh, chips. Uh, also processors are also um, confirmed now. I think it was working fine before. I had no issues and I've been in Monterey for a while, but at least it's official now. Um, having this, this is a 120 track session that I have here and having this big on the, you know, on a 43 inch monitor, plug-in mixer is quite gorgeous. You can do a lot with it and you can certainly get to work and work out your basics with it. This is certainly not a, a fix for every mix for everything, but it is a good starting point before you start loading plugins over plugins. This is a simplification, if you will. Um, yeah, so this is my setup here. Um, I hope you get a chance to dive into this transport control features plugin mixer and give the plugin mixer a little bit more love. It's really a very direct way of working. All right, that is it for now. Massive beats out.